there was a guy who asked me a question and he said can you talk about when women test you because I was talking to this girl and as I'm talking to her she says to me at one moment um, do you watch comedy or do you like comedy because you're trying to be too funny and I was I started to think that in the moment when she was saying that was he actually trying to be too funny and trying to be try hard or did he not know how to so to speak pass her test and test you've heard about in many different ways many forms shit test uh, the test from the feminine whatever you may heard I'm here to just clear it up in my own way because if there's one thing that I love more than anything on earth when I'm talking to a woman that is test and what I mean by test her trying to see who I am as a man because who I am as a man will always ring through me when I'm talking to a woman you know why because I look for it I look for a woman to test me I actually look for it that's the strange thing and the strange thing about it is that I always attract women who what test me because I am willing to Fucking do that for her. I'm willing to have women in my life who test me and I want to see who I am, who want my masculine power so they can submit into their femininity. And that process, I always love. I always love it. Do you know why? Because I test women. I test them as well. I challenge them. I challenge them to be as beautiful and as open as they can be because I'm being that way. And in my being that way, that gives us a chance to really know who we are. That gives me a chance to know what she's all about and that gives her a chance to know what I'm all about. And in that exchange of us testing each other, we can submit. She'll do it more than me, of course, but teasing is my nature. Because when I'm with a woman, I love teasing her. I love talking about her and I love saying this thing about her and I love taking her emotions this way and then taking her this way. But as I'm doing that, I'm not doing it from a mean place. So what I want you to understand is that testing from a woman is not a mean thing. Because guys have this idea that when a woman is testing me, she's being mean. When she's testing me, she's just trying to show that she's bitchy. That's not the truth. The truth is, is that she needs to. She needs to test you. She has to see what kind of guy you are. So many guys that women have met in their life have been one thing and turned out to be something else. And that's frustrating. That's frustrating for a woman to be up against. That's frustrating for her to know that I like this guy and I don't know if he's actually trustable. Because that's actually why she's testing. She's testing because she's trying to see, are you trustable? Can I trust you? If I poke you this way, can I relax into the trust that you are secure enough that you can handle me? Secure enough that you can handle when situations are not going in the direction that you want to go. That's what it's all about. Am I trustable? Are you trustable? If a woman said to you, um, you know what, um, I don't know, maybe you just said that to somebody else. And you go, no, 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 I didn't, I didn't. I've only said that to you. She can see in that you reacting like that, that you become apologetic. A guy that's apologetic, he can't own who he is. But when a man can own who he is, a woman can say anything she wants in the world, and he'll be able to get past it. And that brings us to how do you get past, so to speak, tests from women. The way you get past it really is, is to have fun with it. The way I see it is when a woman is testing me, I see it as, oh, she likes me. She likes me so much that she needs to test me. And then the testing of me, is, it, it, it gives me a lot of energy because I can just show her exactly who I am. And showing her exactly who I am, she can begin to relax. Because I know that around me, she'll feel the most beautiful. She'll feel the most dynamic. She'll feel the most herself. And in the feeling the most herself, dynamic, beautiful, everything that's radiant and that's uh, what she wants to be, she'll begin to relax. Because she don't have to test me. She don't have to see, am I trustable? She don't have to see that anymore. Because in these moments where I give it to her, she can begin to relax. She begins to go, okay, I, I've already seen this and now I can relax. 
And that's the moment where she becomes more attractive. And guys go, if you pass the shit test, you'll become more attractive. No, if she relaxes more, she'll become more attractive. And through you being able to show her that you can have fun with it, and stay aligned at the same moment, which I'll talk about later, that's how she's gonna be able to relax. So why does this happen? This happened because she wants to know that you're trustable. She wants to know, can I relax into your power? Can I relax into the man you are? Because most men that I, that I try to relax into, I can't fully relax because they're not everything that they show me from the beginning. It begins to change for a man. A man starts with something and then he becomes something else. And that is the process that frustrates the fuck out of women. And they should be. And I feel sorry for any woman out there who's dealing with a man who is something and he was something else. Because you attracted that, honestly. <laughs> but that's not the way to go. Now I want to get into how do you pass these tests? How do you, every single time that you get either a physical test or a verbal test, pass? Or show her that you're trustable. Let's use that. Show her that you're trustable. That is number one, having fun with it. And coupled with that, staying aligned in your truth. If you can have this combination all the time, no matter if it's a verbal test, no matter if it's a physical test, you'll always pass, no matter what, you will. How could you not? Because if you're having fun with it, it's because you know what's happening. You have to switch your meaning to it. Switch your meaning to what a test is and a test will become different. Because with a, a change of perception, the thing that you've been, been perceiving before as something else, it, it becomes different. So the test is actually not a test anymore, it's just another part of the conversation. And it gives you what? The chance to show who you are. That gives you the chance to do that. And if we go even deeper than that, coming at peace with what's not perfect about you, physically or internally, that's actually how any test will come your way and you'll see the truth of it. You'll see it as, oh, okay, well, I guess I can just roll with this and flow with it and have fun with it because it's not, it's not, it doesn't have any meaning to me. Tests have a meaning to a man, I mean like it has a strong effect on a man negatively when he hasn't come to peace with things inside himself that he's working on. Whether that be physically or verbally, he's just not ha he hasn't came to peace yet. And the fact that he hasn't came to peace a woman will poke him there and then he'll feel uh, a reactivity towards it. He'll feel that, why is she doing this? Why is she being mean when I'm just trying to be open, when I'm just trying to show her something that's good? That's how. That's how it'll happen. And once you can say, okay, let's look at the things about me that's not so, that's not so perfect. Maybe I have a small dick. It's not perfect. Maybe I have a big nose like James had to come to. Uh, maybe I had a big head and I was thinking to myself, oh man, uh, I have a big head, girls don't like me. I was short and I was like, oh man, I wish I was taller. And it. it was all these things in, a, in the beginning that used to be like, so to speak, insecurities that I had to come to terms with. I had to go, okay, that's the way it is and I'm not going to change it. I don't want to change it because I love this about me now. I was born this way. I'm not trying to change it now. Why would I change it? And in that coming to peace with that, whether it be internally with me knowing, okay, I'm impatient. Sometimes when I'm with the woman and I want to be physical, and she goes, oh God, why are you moving so fast? And she feels that, and I go, oh God, why do you say I move so fast? I had to come at peace with the fact that yes, I was impatient, and I need to start being more patient. Because girl, when girls would say, oh, uh, you're touching too much, I would get super reactive. I would get super, super, super reactive. And in that reactivity, they could see that uh, why be around this man when he's um, being so fucking impatient about me and the pace that I move. Come at peace with it. That's the uprooting of seeing tests different. That you have to come at peace with the things about you that are not so perfect and that you're working on. Because the moment you say, okay, I'm not, I'm okay with this and I'm working on it. If somebody goes, you know what? You're somebody that's not that good with women. And that's something you know you're working on, you're coming to peace with the fact that, yeah, right now I'm not, and I'm moving towards that. 
If somebody says that what you've already come at peace with it and that's the truth that you've come to, it won't mean anything. It'll just be like if somebody said you're black or somebody said that you're white or somebody said that you're Asian and you're already that. It's the same thing. And in that way of it being the same thing, nothing phases you by them. And when nothing is phasing you as far as you being someone that's at peace and not moved, a woman can say whatever she wants and innately you'll know how to get over it. Innately you will because it's in the dishonesty where a woman goes, okay, I can't trust him. I can't relax around him. That's what it is. If you're an honest person, that's the truth. If you're an honest person, you can pass any test as well. Having fun with it and staying aligned. Let's give some examples. I don't give my number to guys out on the street because you might be crazy. Well, you've been talking to me this whole time. Do you think I'm crazy? She goes, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to find out because I don't know if you're crazy either. See, I'm playing with it, but I'm also staying aligned. I'm staying aligned in the fact that, of course, I know I'm not crazy. So I'm already aligned in that truth. Now I can play with it from any, any direction I want to go. Literally, you can say anything you want and it'll, it'll work. It really will. She goes, have you said this to another girl today? I say, oh, no. Why would I say this to another girl? I mean, this is specifically for you. She can't do anything with that because that's the truth. The truth has no like agenda to it. That is what it is. And it's always um, a woman's dilemma to not meet a man who's aligned with the truth. That's what it is. And if, if I can just give you a physical one, you go try to go in for the kiss and she turns her head. And you go, ah, oh, she doesn't like me. But she turns her head and she looks at you because she looks at you right after she turns her head to see how did you react to me not giving you what I want, giving you what you want. That's the moment where a woman goes, yes, I can see what kind of man this is. He tried to kiss me, I looked at him, and I could notice that he was uh, feeling like, oh, come on, why not? Why is this not the moment? Come on, why not? She goes, no. But in that moment, she goes like this, you can literally do anything. So if I could just do anything right now, she turned her head, I can just look at her and go, you have the best cheek that I've ever kissed. You know that? And I'm just playing with it. I'm not showing, well no, it's not even about showing. I'm actually not somebody who's phased by that because I know that she's doing it to see what kind of guy I am. I want that. I give her the chance to show her. Don't you want to show women what kind of guy you are? They can only see that a lot of times when you, do, when you don't get your way. They can only see that. And I tell women all the time, if you really want to see like the truth of a man, say no to him. Say no. Don't give him what he wants if you really want to see the truth. Because that, in that, you'll begin to know what type of guy he is. And from that, make all the decisions that you want to make. The formula or whatever it is to this is, if you can have fun with the test, whether it's verbal or physical, and you can have fun with it. Did I just say that? Let's, let's start that over. So, the thing that I want you guys to take away from this video is if you can, have fun with the test in any way you want to, whatever your personality takes you while staying aligned in your own truth about it that's the way you get over any test because truth has no agenda a man that's actually there and he says he wants thing and something else that's a man with the agenda but truth has none so if you align with your truth in that moment Yes, she like, did you uh, approach anybody else today? And say, uh, no. And she's like, yes, you did. And I'm like, yeah, I did. I'm just a man that's very, very uh, social. Because in that, no, that's you playing with it. Because you actually know what she's giving you. Have fun with it, man. Stop seeing these tests as something that's against you. It's for you. It's so you can show her that I am what I'm showing you. And she doesn't know that until you show her. And if she's testing you, have the attitude of, aw, she likes me. And watch how I change, man. This is Tony Solo for The Natural Lifestyles. And I want you guys to subscribe below to Essence of Solo. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Wherever I am, I'm out.